I want to begin by acknowledging that the talking points for my speech today were provided by the AI language model ChatGPT. HB 2060 recognizes the need for ethical guidelines in the development and use of artificial intelligence in state agencies. That was Giovanni Capriglione, a state representative from Tarrant County. He wrote a bill meant to help oversee the use of AI in state government agencies. House Bill 2060 would create a seven-member Artificial Intelligence Advisory Council that would monitor AI systems used by executive and judicial branch agencies specifically. It would also require the council to assess the need for a state code of ethics for artificial intelligence use in government. The lawmaker who submitted the bill even used AI, as he said, there to write that speech. The bill passed the House and is waiting for a public hearing now in the Senate. As lawmakers focus on how AI could be used in government, one consumer group says the tech could be used to commit fraud. Just recently, the Federal Trade Commission said ChatGPT could, quote, turbocharge fraud. Our Sally Hernandez talked to an expert for an in-depth look at what she says needs to change. Kathy Stokes, you are an expert when it comes to fraud. What can you tell us as far as how many people out there are getting scammed? You know, um, we believe it's hit a crisis level uh, and it's not just us. Um, most Americans in a survey we just produced say the same thing and we're seeing it in the data. Even though most people don't report when they experience fraud, just what was reported last year to the Federal Trade Commission uh, it was $9 billion in losses. And we know that's just the tip of the iceberg. Wow. And you're saying that a lot of the scams go unreported. What do you mean? And, and why are people not reporting it? Well, you know, um, sometimes people don't even realize that um, experiencing a scam is a financial crime. Um, and, and sometimes they'll call the police and report it, and the police will say that's not a crime. It's a, it's a civil matter. Uh, call a lawyer. And that's just not true at all. Um, but we've spent a lot of time in this society um, sort of building up this misperception that it is the fraud victim's fault for having not known something, having not done something. At the same point, uh, the survey found 85% of Americans say fraud can happen to anyone, but 53% surveyed said if someone loses money to a scam, it's because they are gullible. How do we That's change that thinking? We have to change the narrative. We can't blame fraud victims for being victims. Financial crimes, fraud is the same type. It's a crime just like a violent crime is or a property crime. Yet we treat it so differently. And AARP is, is leading an effort to get out in front of as many people as we can to say we've got to shift that narrative. It is not the victim's fault. We need to prioritize this as a crime and we need a meaningful law enforcement response, which we just don't have right now. I was just reading today how AI and chat GPT are really causing a stir out there. And one example is how it can maybe now scam people. Is that something else you're concerned about? Very concerned because right now um, the, the scams are so sophisticated that they're almost unrecognizable as scams. And when you enter chat GBT and AI, it's just that much more unrecognizable. Um, but, but the stories are always the same. Um, it's going to be somebody that's reaching out to you out of the blue, um, trying to get you into that heightened emotional state. Let that be the sign that somebody is trying to deceive you and don't engage. Great advice. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.